Right now, as you're watching this, your brain is consuming 20% of your body's energy. But here's the most terrifying part. When your heart stops, your brain doesn't just stop. It keeps going for seven full minutes. And what it does in those seven minutes will change how you think about death forever. Picture this. You're declared clinically dead, heart flatlined, but inside your skull, it's like the world's most intense final exam is happening. Your neurons are firing in massive coordinated waves, something scientists call a death search. This isn't random chaos. Your brain is literally having its most active moment since you were born. But here's where it gets absolutely wild. That surge, it might explain everything. Every near-death experience, every life flashing before your eyes moment, every story about deceased relatives, it could all be your brain dumping decades of memories in one final desperate burst of activity. Meanwhile, your body's playing by completely different rules. Your pupils blow wide open in seconds, but your hearing, that's the last domino to fall. So while your brain's having its farewell party, you might still be listening to everything around you. Every whisper, every sob, every word of love someone finally finds the courage to say. And then there's the grip of death. Literally, cadaveric spasms can lock your muscles around whatever you are holding. People have been found clutching steering wheels, phones, even other people's hands. Your body's final message? I'm not letting go. But here's the mind vendor that'll keep you up tonight. Your cells don't all die together. Some give up in minutes, others party for hours. Your skin cells, they're still doing their job long after you're gone. It's like your body's running on different time zones, each organ shutting down on its own schedule. The craziest part, in freezing water, people have been dead for over an hour and come back completely fine. The cold basically hits pause on this whole process. So what we call death isn't this definitive moment. It's more like a very organized, very weird biological negotiation. This means every single person who's ever died experience something we can't fully understand. Seven minutes of pure, concentrated brain activity that we'll never be able to ask them about. So the next time someone says death is just lights out, tell them it's more like the most intense light show your brain will ever produce, and you get front row seats. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.